Hey Bev again with another video. Um, this video, here's my question. Why do crash diets always crash? And they do. I know this. I used to do it. I wrote a book about it, right? Now, um, drastically reducing your calories, less than 800 calories a day, is considered a crash diet to your body. What happens, basically it's a starvation diet to your biochemical body. It begins to eat itself. Uh, it makes your ability to burn calories much more inefficient. That's your metabolic rate. You have no energy, your mood changes, maybe even you lose hair, whatever. But before we talk about some things in this video, here are some indisputable facts about your body. Fat is an energy storage system. It is not as metabolically active as muscle tissue. Muscle will burn more calories than fat. It needs energy for movement, right? And that's why muscle will affect your metabolic rate uh, or your ability to burn calories much more than fat will. Okay, now let's take a person who weighs 150 pounds. They maintain their 150 pounds by eating 2,000 calories a day. But then they, they don't like 150 pounds. They starve themselves down to 125. But that's not sustainable. I mean, how long can you starve yourself? So then they begin to eat again. And they eat themselves up to 150 pounds again. And they're eating 2,000 calories. But they look fatter. And they weigh the same. And you've seen this with people that weigh the same and they look quite different. What has happened? Okay, as you starve yourself and your body begins to eat itself, yes, you will lose fat, right? That's energy. But you will also lose a lot of muscle because it wants the glycogen in the muscle. And besides, you know, you're not eating enough calories. So why would your body maintain a whack of muscle tissue? No. Okay, so you're down here, you start to eat again. Do you gain fat and muscle? Yes, of course, you gain fat, you gain muscle, but you gain a lot of fat because you have screwed up your metabolism on the way down. So you can't use all of the calories that you're eating as well as you could here. So what happens is let's you're beginning to eat 2000 calories a day, but maybe you're only burning 1500 now. What happens to the extra 500 calories? Well, you better believe it, it gets stored as fat cells, you know, okay. So you get a higher body fat percentage. You are actually less fit, but you are at the same weight. And maybe you do it over and over again, like I used to. Oh yeah, bad. Eat at least 1200 calories a day. See you in the next video. Bye for now.